friends, Miss Trish here. Since we've been studying the letter E this week, I found a word that means a lot to me with the E sound, and that word is B. What are bees, you ask? They are very, very important insects. Bees have six legs, three body parts, four wings, and a stinger. They come in brown and yellow with stripes. But bees got the stingers, but they don't like to use them. The only thing, the reason they sting is when they get frightened and feel they have to protect themselves or their home, which they call their hive. There are 20,000 different kinds of bees, but today we are going to talk about the most common one, the honeybee. My son Danny is a beekeeper in Hawaii, and he knows so much about bees, especially honeybees. He raises honeybees on a farm with many, many hives, and he it is called an apiary. Danny also extracts bees from places where people don't want them. Sometimes someone will come home or a business will have a big, giant beehive starting at their home, and he'll go extract them because he does not want people to kill the honeybees. He wants to save them. And the reason why is because they're so important to our environment and our earth. So he saves them and he brings them back to his farm. And did you know that without bees, we wouldn't have all our yummy fruits and vegetables that we like to enjoy and that keep us healthy and strong? The bees pollinate our fruits like apples and pears and melons and cranberries and cherries and vegetables like asparagus and broccoli and avocado and celery and oh, I could go on and on. And of course, the yummy, yummy honey they make. A lot of times you'll see bees flying around from flower to flower to flower to flower. And what they do on those flowers is they take their little beak that they have and they suck out the nectar and they have all these cute little hairs all over their body and the pollen collects on those hairs and they fly it all back to their hive. 